Hello traders. Uh, my evening video. Uh, I know it's awful late here. I'm putting this out, but uh, I just do this for me more than anything else, more than anything anybody else. I'm just going to go over a few stocks to keep on your watch tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to start with Apple. And I have seen multiple times, or several times, uh, zero Apple, the Thursday, the week before uh, earnings, uh, it had a massive sell-off, believe it or not. I've seen it three separate times, and I've gotten taken out all three times. It happened again today. Well, I held on today. And what we have down here is a, a, a large distribution here at the bottom. That suggests to me that we've probably put in a significant low on Apple. Now, we'll come in tomorrow. We'll see what happens. If the markets are falling apart, of course, we're going to drift lower. But what I'm seeing here, we got a uh, high volume node. What I'm expecting is we're going to drift higher over, uh, in the morning. And we're probably going to get up around seven, uh, 172, uh, right around the 172 area for, uh, whenever the market opens. If, we, if not, we've already crossed it, this downward trend line. So I'm really thinking first thing tomorrow morning we're going to uh, bust back above this downward trend line. So we'll see what happens on the profile. Now our daily Ichimoku cloud should act as support here. We came down to it to, uh, today and we bounced off of it. Plus it was a responsive, uh, there was a trend line through there too. So at any, at any rate, uh, there's a chance that this Ichimoku cloud on the daily will give us the support for uh, daily swings to the long side. Now today, we all day today, we had an accelerated downtrend line that was in play all day long. So uh, first thing tomorrow, we should most likely be crossing over that downturn, uh, the uh, downturn line. So we'll see what happens in that regard. On And one of the final things that I look for, especially if you're taking a contrarian trade, because, of course, right now, uh, Apple's bearish. And if you're going to take a, a overnight swing trade, you do want to have some room between your current price and your cloud. You don't want to be taking a swing trade knowing you're going to be right into the cloud uh, first thing the next day. So the, the, this is one of the thing, uh, setups that I look for for a uh, contrarian setup into, for the next day. The next chart I want to talk about, and that's Facebook. And uh, we're all clear on the weekly and daily time frames. Uh, it's been pretty lofty here on Facebook. So there's always a chance for it to pull back here. And we do have a trend line in place here we are going to be tagging tomorrow. So it could be like Apple today. As soon as it breaks this trend line, we could see a massive, uh, a pretty decent sell-off. So just keep this one on your radar. Um, and as you can see with our 15 minute time frame, we will be coming in underneath our cloud with a bearish scenario tomorrow morning. So typically coming in a trend line with a bearish scenario like that, you would want to short your pops uh, on Facebook tomorrow morning. Okay, on Facebook and it's uh, price action, we have a pretty well defined bell curve of uh, value uh, volume point of control for Facebook so even once it crosses this um, trend line it's, it's a lower odds trade that there's going to be good money to be made by the cross of the trend line so we might get a response to sell off but then again uh, it, 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 it suggests that there might be a tighter range in Facebook than uh, a lot of other stocks now, NVIDIA has another is another tr stock that's going to be coming into trend line tomorrow. So keep that in mind. We do have quite a bit of value building out up here at this uh, price level. And it's a pretty well evenly distributed bell curve. So keep that in mind. And actually, it's a little skewed, suggesting you know, uh, it's having trouble. It's, it's telling us it's having trouble getting higher. So the buyers might be wore out up here at this level. So that is a little bit stronger case that this thing might need to have a little correction. So just keep that one on your radar. And here's the second thing to think about with NVIDIA. Here's our supporting line for uh, Ichimoku. And we're right at that line. 
So if we start seeing a little bit responsive selling here, we're going to be crossing below that line and pop potentially this trend line. So keep that in mind for a little bit of a pullback here in NVIDIA. Uh, on the daily, it can come all the way back to like 228, 229, something like that for the next significant support area uh, on the daily Ichimoku. Okay. <clears throat> and the reason I mentioned this one is that as of right now, there's a chance we're going to be opening below the cloud tomorrow morning. Uh, suggesting that uh, a more bearish take on this stock starting the day off. Now, it could have a responsive buy around on the trend line, of course. And as I showed that bell curve, there's quite a bit of value built up at this level. But I just want you guys to be aware of the situation that it's a more bearish take on NVIDIA tomorrow. And Intel is uh, trending higher in the after hour session. Now, Twitter's had a pretty good correction here, and I, I do want to point something out on this uh, downward slope. We're going to be crossing over into the cloud tomorrow, which might be a bullish profile change. It's hard to say. It's a bullish cloud on the daily, so uh, just m changing over into the cloud might change the profile of this uh, action. Now, if you notice on this chart here, Twitter seems to be carving out a bottom here. We got a double bottom here and it's trying to come back up and we have an accelerated downtrend and as I pointed out we're coming into the daily cloud and we do have a little bit of a gap to fill to the upside right here. So I just want to point out Twitter's probably going to see a responsive buy tomorrow from a downtrend, uh, responsive downtrend cross. Now with our market uh, uh, our market profile analysis on the one hour here. Uh, just be a little careful here. We, we are seeing a double bottom on the uh, Twitter. Uh, but it's a very short term uh, time span. And you see this accelerated downtrend. It won't take much to cross back over that downtrend to start catching a bid. And it might be Monday before it happens, but just something to keep on your watch here. It looks like... Uh, we're not, uh, that we're oversold here. There was a lot of value right here, and we've come down a little bit past that. So keep this one on your radar uh, with a really tight, you know if you're going to make lower lows that you want to get out of this trade. Now, I ne mentioned Netflix might be a seller tomorrow, and it's not necessarily a good a short trade or anything by, by no means. The only reason I mentioned that is that there were some large volume uh, at the 272.30 area, uh, right after that, there were some large volume put buyers uh, on Netflix uh, today. Um, and by no means is Netflix done and over with, but uh, this is one just to keep on your watch just in case. <clears throat> okay, I want you to keep an eye on Tesla for tomorrow. There was a news came out, they were having trouble building batteries, labor wasn't trained or something like that. And then Tesla came out with a press release uh, after hours saying that that was all false. And actually they were bumping up production. So uh, believe what you want to believe. But at any rate, uh, we closed right below daily value. So uh, if we start pushing up above 338.23 or something like that, uh, start pushing up a little bit higher here. Uh, Net Tesla is probably a long setup for tomorrow. Just keep that one in mind, and let me get some other charts on that one. Okay, on a Tesla here, anything below about 341, 341, we're getting a little iffy on Tesla. I mean, that's our support line on our weekly. So that that's one thing. Uh, it's a little bit more bearish right here, so it's contrarian trade. Now, on the other hand, the one hour is showing that there's some responsive buying at these levels down here. You see these bottoming tails? As almost as if Tesla's oversold at this level. Like buyers are wanting to come in the last two hours of the, of the day today to push price higher. And this would have been a responsive uh, support area. So just keep that one in mind. Uh, it definitely could go a lot lower. And the final criteria which I look for, uh, if it were to turn, I want to make sure I have some 
open space here for it to pop up before I run into any type of uh, resistance. In this case right here, we first got to clear our uh, signal line for Ichimoku, which would uh, probably be around a 338, like I mentioned. So we once we get back over that 338, then it's liable to really catch a bid. So um, just keep this one on, on, on your radar. It could easily do that uh, uh, pre-market and uh, off to the races. So uh, that's all I'm going to talk about. And uh, thanks a lot for listening to me.